This movie describes how to use the activity two-digit multiplication using an array model. Here we have an array that represents 13 times 14. It's an array with 13 rows and 14 columns. Notice that our array is divided into four smaller arrays, a yellow array, a blue array, and a brown and a green array. By dragging this red point that sits inside the array, we can change the dimension of our four smaller arrays. Notice, though, that as I drag this point, the overall dimensions of our large array remain the same. It's still 13 by 14. So can I use these four smaller arrays to help me figure out the product of 13 and 14? Well, in this position here, I've arranged the four smaller arrays to have products that are easy to calculate. We have 10 by 10, which is 100, 10 by 4, which is 40, 3 by 10, which is 30, and 3 by 4, which is 12. So if we want to figure out the product of 13 and 14, we simply add those together, 100, 40, 30, and 12, to get 182. Now, we can make this problem a little easier for students when they're first starting out by pressing Show Remaining Dimensions. Here we see the dimensions both on the left side and top side, as well as the bottom and right side. We can hide those dimensions, and as students get better at using these arrays, we can choose to hide the grid. Or if we want a little help, we could press Show Tick Marks. To change the multiplication problem, we simply drag this red point in the upper right corner. And by doing so, we can solve a host of multiplication problems. And if we decide we'd like a problem that extends beyond the limits of the screen, we can go to Array 2 with a smaller grid size, which allows us to break up an array with even larger dimensions, as we did before. So this explains how to use the activity two-digit multiplication using an array model.